Uh, good morning. Uh, today, uh, on the first episode of Ward TV, uh, we're going to spend time today talking about our activity program, hopefully uh, helping all of our students learn about the many, many opportunities to become connected and involved in our school. You've heard me say uh, countless times about the importance of uh, living up to our acronym, making our school a welcoming, academic, respectful, dynamic, and ethical environment. Today, uh, as we talk about our activities and all the ways that students become involved, we're really talking about how we can create the most dynamic uh, atmosphere possible in our school. And we know that the more connected students are to their school and to each other, the better the school is. So today, pay close attention to all of the various activities that uh, are possible for you to be become involved in, and look for ways to become connected to each other and to our school. The more connected we are, the better the school is. So I'm counting on everyone to become involved this year, to get connected. It'll make Ward a better place. Good morning, Fairfield Ward High School, and welcome to our first advisory. I'm here with Sophie Flay, I'm Mrs. Lewis, and we would like today to showcase for you the many opportunities where you can join during a, join a club during activity period? Um, there's a lot of clubs that you can join. Um, you can actually even make your own if you really want to, get a bunch of friends together and create your own club. But it's a great way to get involved and meet a lot of new friends, especially if you're a freshman, because there's so many people you can still meet. Absolutely. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I am in Club 2014, which is the club for my class. Um, and every grade has their own club, so if you're a freshman, you are the class of 2017. When you're a senior, you are able to choose the class gift that you give back to the school, so it's um, a great way to really be involved in the school and to give back. Well, thanks for joining us today. No problem. Hola, como esta, senora? Muy bien, y tú? <laughs> Muy bien. Today we are here with Senora Polonio, and she is going to talk with us um, about her club that she is advisor for, and that would be the Spanish Honor Society Club. And also the Spanish Club. There's two clubs that we actually do, and uh, the Spanish Honor Society, you have to fill out an application during your junior year, and it has to do with your GPA. The Spanish Club, anyone can join. So we both meet on B Week. Um, we try to do a lot of um, activities that have to do with culture in Spanish. For instance, um, this year I probably would like to teach the students how to dance salsa or maybe mm -hmm. bachata. Uh, in the previous years, we've done many fundraisers. We've done uh, pennies for Nicaragua. We've done um, Red Cross uh, drives. We've done uh, Toys for Tots drives. So, I want to be more involved in the culture and I want to do also start a Spanish homework club so any student that takes Spanish and has difficulty can pair up with someone that is in either AP Spanish or um, Spanish 51 so they can get the help that they need. Excellent. That's basically what I would like to offer this year. Oh, that sounds like a great opportunity. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for asking me. Adios. Adios. Hi, I am joined now with our seniors, Maddie and Dylan, and they are active members of KO Cancer. So please share with Ward a little bit about your club. KO Cancers raise a lot of money for cancer research to the American Cancer Society, and we have a lot of fun in our clubs. Um, we do a lot of fundraisers and bake sales. Everyone gets a t-shirt when they join. They're black and pink, pretty cool. So please help us knock out cancer. Thank you so much, <laughs> and next up is Safe Rides. I'm joined with five senior board members from Safe Rides, and I'd like for Lauren to share with our school exactly what Safe Rides is. So we're looking for students to volunteer their time on Saturday nights to help us out, give kids Safe Rides home who are in need. And if you're ever in need for a Safe Ride home, feel free to call the number below and we can get you where you need to go. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. Introducing members of our student forum. Dee Dee, why don't you tell our school all about your club? So we're a student forum and we run the school store during periods one, two, and three, and we also organize the Battle of the Houses every year. And they have really good Greek yogurt that they sell. Delicious. Bagels too. <laughs> Thanks for coming in today. Thank You're welcome. You. So this man needs no introduction, but being that our freshmen might not be so familiar with this man, 
Mr. Charles Flynn is here to talk to us today about the Irish Club and mock trial. Welcome. Thank you so much for inviting me. I am the advisor of three clubs that you may be interested in joining. Irish Society, which celebrates Irish culture and music. Odyssey, the literary magazine where we have poetry, art, photography, and creative writing. We meet on Wednesdays after school in my room. And the mock trial team, if you're interested in arguing and learning a little bit about the law, we participate in the state competition for mock trials uh, that involves many different high schools. And we meet on Mondays after school. Thanks so much, Mr. Flynn. Up next, the Italian Club. Hello, Italian Club officers. I'd like to welcome Giovanni, our president of Italian Club. Would you please share with our students a little bit about your club? Uh, yeah, the Italian Club normally focuses around the culture and uh, sports, like you know, the sports, the mu music, and the food mainly. Mm. So uh, you usually share food a lot. Uh, we bring in food all the time. We share it with the members. Usually, people will have to alternate off and on who brings in the food. And then on days that are really nice, we bring in a bocce set and we go outside and play bocce, which is an Italian sport. And uh, yeah. Awesome. Sounds great. Would anybody like to add anything else to it? Uh, one of the best features of Italian Club uh, is the scholarship, uh, which uh, senior members upon graduation will share the uh, nominal scholarship fund. And uh, obviously, the more people that join, the more funds we will uh, garner, the more funds we'll raise, and uh, the larger your scholarship will be. Thanks, Aiden. Also, we have the Teddy Bear Foundation, where we have gifts, and we give them to kids that are less fortunate for Christmas. Oh, how sweet. Thanks so much, Anna-Marie. So join the Italian Club. Mr. Novak, where are you coming from? I've been to where the air is clean and the water is crisp. You too can come with me if you join the Backpacking Club. Mrs. Atruya is the advisor for our AFS Club. And what does that stand for? It stands for American Field Service. It was formed many, many years ago by President Eisenhower to promote understanding between young people, between cultures. And we have a lot of trips. We've gone to Kansas. We've gone to South, um, South Carolina. We've gone to Canada. And uh, we like to have children, or students rather, meet other students and see what it's like to live in their country. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Hello, Dr. Faber, Hello, and welcome to our word special. Thank you. I would love for, for you to tell us what the mission of our Human Relations Club is here at Ward, and what is it that um, you are hoping to accomplish with the club this year? Well, the Human Relations Club is a club that is interested in how we relate on a human level. And unfortunately, you know, discrimination and prejudice and bias exist in our world. So this is a club for any student who's interested in challenging um, our community um, as it relates to issues of discrimination, bias, or prejudice, um, and to educating our school community, and whether you're interested um, in discrimination based on race or religion or class or sexual orientation or um, mental or physical abilities, we deal with all of these issues. And our main goal is to make Ward um, a safer, and more accepting place for everybody. And then the larger goal is that that then filters out into the larger community and to our society. Excellent. Okay. Well, so Thank please. you. So join HRC. Yay. Thanks so much, Dr. Faber. Yeah, and we meet um, in F31. We meet uh, both A and B week. You can, can just come one of the two. And we meet most days uh, Thursday after school. Okay. Excellent. Thank you for the time. Okay. Charlotte and Sam are here today to talk with us about Humanity Now. So we'd like to know, how did your, your club get started? Well, a couple years ago, our prior co-presidents had gone to Senegal to work at the healthcare center there, and they were really interested in the organization, so they brought it here to Ward. Awesome. Um, currently, we are helping two organizations in two different countries. In the Gambia, we are sponsoring a girls' school called the Starfish School, where a lot of girls don't get the chance to have an education, and $100 raised by us gives one girl tuition for the year. And we are also supporting a medical center in Senegal, which gives the people of the community health care for their lives. Well, that's very inspiring. Yep. Great yes. work, Thank ladies. You. Thanks, Thanks for joining us today. As a proud advisor of Key Club, I'm joined here right now with our two co-presidents, Tommy and Michelle. 
Uh, one thing I'd like to share with everyone is that Key Club is definitely the largest organization club that we have at, at Ward. We have members between 80 to 100 and we're always looking for more. Key Club stands for Kiwanis Educating Youth. We're an international organization and are hoping uh, everyone joins us here. We're a community service based organization so we help out with events in the community like elementary school tutoring, uh, helping with parades and fairs all throughout the year. Thank you, Presidents. I'll see you at our first meeting. Welcome, officers from RAC, a very special club, and I, they'll tell you more about it, but their mission is to be kind. So Random Acts of Kindness is short, um, in short, is RAC, and what we do for Ward is we try to make it feel more like a home, and we welcome everyone, and we spread kindness. One of our biggest things is we do the welcome breakfast, which is for all people new to the Fairfield School District. So we set up a breakfast and play icebreaker games and try to make them feel welcome. Uh, one of our main goals is to make every student at Ward feel welcome and safe in their environment. That's awesome. It's all about connecting to our school. So thank you so much for doing all that thank you do. You. I'm joined with members of Circle of Friends. So Chris, please tell Ward a little bit about your club. My club, Circle of Friends, is awesome. Last year, teachers and students signed a pledge to make the new I would respect. Exactly. R is all about respect. Um, our club meets both A and B week, and we just talk in a circle, and we also try to do out-of-school activities and um, I hope everyone joins. Definitely. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Matt. I'm joined with Ms. Moyer and Ms. Muller from Interact and their three officers. Welcome. Hey guys, uh, we're Interact Club. We're a community service organization and um, our motto is service above self. Interact is for anyone who wants to make a difference. We're not just a service club, we actually make the world a better place. Uh, we organize many events like Under the Box and the Harmony Talent Show and many more. We're really excited for the upcoming year with the Interact Club and Ms. Muller and I are looking forward to seeing a lot of new faces this year at our first meeting. <laughs> Up next, War TV. I'm with War TV, where creativity gets put into action. We're looking for people who like editing and filming and a lot of hands-on activities here. We would love for you to join us to pr help produce our weekly episode of War TV. I'm Mrs. Gartsu and I'm the advisor of the club and the kids have a really good time and we'd love to have more join us. Absolutely. Thanks for coming in today. So Ward, now that you have had a glimpse into all the amazing opportunities and activities that Ward offers you, what your advisory teachers are now going to do is hand you a list of every single activity that we do have. And we'd like for you to take the time to perhaps pick out three activities that really interest you and also three that you might have questions with. And that will be the discussion today with your advisory teachers. So definitely get involved and represent Ward in a more dynamic way. Sign.